All right, so we're going to be seeing Roy versus Pac-Man. Once again, Zane strikes were FD and PS2, while uh, C. Caleb strikes were Battlefield Three, and Smashville. Two, one, so we are going to Town and City for game one. This is winner's quarters, you know, 237. Let's see how this goes. Uh, Town and City has a tall ceiling with close sides. Uh, the sides are similar to, like, uh, Smashville and PS2, where like the blast zone to the ledge ratio pretty tight. Uh, so Roy, generally a character who will try and kill off the side, um, and Pac-Man actually kind of kills off the side with a lot of like you know like aerial strings and stuff like that. Uh, and you'll see a lot of like traps that set up into like forward smash. Uh, we're not going to see too many kills off the top. However. Uh, Pac-Man does get hurt a little bit by like a bell combo that goes into like up smash. But you know what? It's not even going to matter because Zane only taking 16 damage uh, before uh, C. Caleb loses his first stock. So Zane doing a fantastic job. Um, if you if you don't have to respect the hydrant nearly as much uh, and you're able to rush, uh, something that Roy is kind of capable of doing because he's so fast in the air. Uh, you know, you can make some pretty good plays, and with how strong he is, they can possibly kill. And now we're seeing C. Caleb uh, actually rack up a ton of percent while only taking 15. So, while he already lost the first stock, uh, it's, it's kind of going in his favor. However, Zane making the comeback here, get, putting in an advantageous position, and to add on top of that, Roy with Rage. Terrifying stuff. Okay, so C. Caleb actually t able to take the second, uh, the first stock from Zane, and only taking 63%. We are basically an even game, and now with this uh, Galaga combo, C. Caleb with the lead, slightly. But <laughs> Zane not gonna let that last for too long. Get us an edge guard situation. Can't really do too much about it because of the water with the uh, hydrant. Great coverage by C. Caleb, uh, and woo, scary situation here. All right, so uh, both on now on their second stocks with very high percentage is uh, who is going to overreach and lose their stock? Zane up being a little bit a little bit scared just because of like how active uh, Pac-Man down air is, uh, a falling short. But then right after respawning, is able to just secure it. Uh, what happened actually? Came down. Oh, so C. Caleb doing an ill-advised pellet like on stage, and like I said earlier, Roy very fast, so was able to just catch him and like pelleting all the way to the edge of the stage, asking to get hit by any hit by Roy and then die off the side because once again the sides on town pretty tight. All right, so uh, we did to tag him back and forth. Scary situation here. Uh, Zane hanging out on the platform, doesn't want to get hit by like you know any of the the fruits that shoot outward. Uh, once the flan, uh, the bell was out. Ooh. Okay, things are kind of uh, snowballing for C. Caleb and takes it. Okay, so let's see. So this first stock, how did this go? Oh, yes. Uh, fantastic um, ledge trump into back air. Trump's not something you see very often in Ultimate compared to Smash 4. Happy to see it. Uh, kind of difficult, honestly, just because like you can DI trumps. It's a very silly mechanic. Was that a poke? Yes, it was. Good lord. <coughs> not going to be able to go through all of these kills. And we're going to see this change to Duck Hunt from Zane. Uh, Zane's... Uh, I'm sorry. C. Caleb's bands were Battlefield and Smashville. Uh, so Zane's counterpick is 
small battlefield. So we're just going to see how this changes uh, the dynamic. Zane taking like a, a you know, a healthy lead. All right, now a good lead, a good early lead here, only taking about 20% and dealing 100. Very good position to be in, but you know, are we gonna be able to get the win condition? Lots of hitboxes flying around, and you know, uh, amongst all of the hydrants, the gunmen, the the bells, the items, the fruits, uh, lots of damage done to Zane and T. Caleb actually able to secure out that first stock. Um, yeah, so he took 100 damage before like the entire like kitchen sink of uh, of hitboxes just doing a billion damage. What happened? I blinked. I'm gonna actually just. Well, I don't know. This is going so fast. Let's see. He didn't up B. Just kicked the can and it did nothing else. Uh, I'm not really sure. Very unfortunate. So now we have a two stock lead by C. Caleb. Uh, what can he do with this? This is going to be a yeah, really good position here, you know. You have platforms that can be little roofs, uh, so you can't come down with an aerial. He's able to put the hydrant near, like, the side part of the platform, meaning you can't come in. Uh, horizontally. So you have a roof above you, can't come down with an aerial, uh, and you have the Hydra in front of you as a gate. Literally just living in a house. Uh, and the... Wow. Good lord. What a setup. Okay, actually, I want to see this again. Right. So much damage. I couldn't even catch the whole thing. Now what's going to happen here? The bell into forward smash. Pretty classic stuff. Yeah, so what happens? Just does nothing. Oh, did side B. Very unfortunate. That God, that sucks. You, know, you don't want to... I know that feeling when I do Razor Leaf, when I want to do up B, and I'm like, oh, goodbye. Thank you, Tilde, for the uh, for the raid. Hope to see you soon, homie. And I'm pretty sure you're going to Genesis. So, you know, good luck, bro. Yeah, so the next match is going to be uh, VV versus Camex. Not going to Pound, Tilde? All right, well... I'll see you there. We're doing the production as per usual. Hey, helper. Thanks for resubbing. Uh, what is it? Hope you feel better, bro. Uh, and I'll see you on Friday. Also, I am being joined with... It is me. Hello. There you go. Sonic Fiend, how you doing? Good, good. Just thought I'd pop by here. Come fresh after work. I don't have the best fit on today, but uh, <laughs> I make do. Yeah, kind of kind of slim on commentary. Uh, some people a little bit spooked after yesterday's events in the uh, city. I completely understand.